Welcome to day three of my landscape photography tour of New Zealand's beautiful South Island. New Zealand is a place that I'm very lucky to call home and I'm very happy that I can share with you my country through this video and through the lens on my Fujifilm GFX 50S2. Well that's looking absolutely beautiful. So we have just set ourselves up for a panoramic here and we're using the 65 by 24 aspect ratio in the GFX 50S2 and it's just very nicely just framed up that mountain off in the distance with that lovely red cloud. So in terms of settings we're at 100 millimeters, f8, ISO 200 and the shutter speed is 18th of a second. I'll put a photo up, give me some comments, I hope you enjoy it. getting very windy. Anyway, time to continue the adventure. We're going to make our way towards Lake Tekapo. What a beautiful place. When you just look, there is pretty much nearly 360 degree views open spaces i love open spaces like this that it just opens up so many options and possibilities especially when you've got amazing mountains on the horizon we're not even near the big mountains yet i'm so excited you can just see them off in the distance there right down there they surround big mountains and that's the way that we're heading so i did just take a few photos here um had the 30 millimeter lens on the GFX. And again, working with the panoramic um, aspect ratio, I just think considering the amount of uh, mountains we have on the horizon, and the fact we've got wide open spaces, I think it really suits it. Such a beautiful place. Anyway, I'll put some photos up. Let me know what you think and we will continue. So here is a piece of New Zealand history for you. Hakateri Station. Here's the sign right here, tells us what it is. This high country sheep station was settled in 1857 by Thomas Henry Potts, one of New Zealand's earliest conservationists. The stone cottage was built in 1865 and single men's quarters in the 1870s were built to house the station workers. It's not often you see stone buildings like this here, this one there behind me in New Zealand. It's quite rare. And look, a kiwi barn. This has to be one of the most picturesque kiwi barns I've ever seen in New Zealand so far. Beautiful mountain landscape. Took a photo. Both photos were taken with the 30mm lens for f8, handheld, high to 200. Not sure what the exposure time was, but I'll put the settings on the photo. Hope you enjoy it.
but the weather's taken a turn for the worst. It's just started raining. However, I did just a approach a high point that's got a, a bit of a viewing platform and we're kind of deep in the heart of Mackenzie country now. We're still in Canterbury and uh, it's getting more mountainous. Um, and this viewpoint just gave me a quite a spectacular view over um, the low-lying Mackenzie area with the mountains on the backdrop. So I took a photo with the 30 millimeter lens, panoramic shot, black and white. Let me know what you think. What a view I've just found here. This beautiful farmer's paddock that is planted with something, I don't know what it is, but it's very yellow. And I just love the contrast between that color and the gray sky and the kind of subtle blue shadows in the mountains on the horizon. Took a panoramic shot. There is a, a wool shed out there as well. And it just looks beautiful. Just, just such a eye pleasing contrast within the photo. Let me know what you think. We're going to continue this journey. Well, the rain's really starting to come down now and we are getting very close to the, the big mountains. And as I'm driving through this mountain pass and the rain is pouring down, it's completely changed the landscape now. Instead of having, you know, mountain textures and details, it's completely transformed into layers of shadow um, with the foreground revealing detail. But the further you go back because of the rain, it kind of has a bit of a mist effect. So I took one photo here, again, panoramic. So many panoramic opportunities, I think, in New Zealand, particularly in the South Island anyway. But yeah, it'll probably be a black and white haven't edited it yet, you will see it right now. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, my God. It is getting wet. Whew. Another amazing view. View to the right, view to the left. Mountains, two panoramas. Let me know what you think. So here we have the magnificent Church of Good Shepherd in all its glory. Although today it's raining, so maybe it's not as glorious, but I haven't seen many photos of this church in weather like this, so perhaps this could be a first, we'll see. And in the background there, just behind the church, you can see over my shoulder here, is Mount Edward. So Edward, my son, this photo's for you. What an incredible view I've got here. We are heading deep into the mountains now in Lake Takapo and off in the distance, I can see the valley that we're gonna be driving down soon. And I just again took another panoramic photo. I took two photos, it's just mind blowing. The color of the water is just amazing. The mood and the atmosphere of the clouds moving across the mountains is incredible. I hope you like these photos.
Up to this point, most of the photography done today has actually been done from the roadside as we travelled south towards the mountains in the central plateau area of New Zealand South Island. But now we've reached that destination and we're travelling into the mountains along a different type of road, a road that is often quite difficult to travel through. The road less travelled requires a different type of vehicle and as you can see in this video clip here I am lowering the tyre pressure in my tyres so that my vehicle can move more easily across the hard surfaces. And the hard rocky surfaces are not the only challenges that I must overcome on this journey. There are a number of large glacial rivers that must be crossed. Quite often the route is not clear and the depth of the river is not always known. When a water crossing is required, look out for the ripple effect in the white water because this will indicate where the shallow areas are. The use of a high clearance vehicle and Keeping up momentum is absolutely paramount when you're moving through water like this where there are large rocks that cannot be seen. I have to be honest with you and say that there were some fairly challenging and uncomfortable moments on this journey. But what doesn't challenge us doesn't change us. This journey has been several months in the planning and I have purposely built my vehicle to get me to places like this safely. It has been a journey that I will never forget and as I arrive at my final location I'm really happy to see our accommodation for tonight. There are not many places in the world where you can stay in an amazing little hut like this. A hut that is located in the foothills of giant mountains. Mountains that soar above 3,000 metres. And what a cosy little hut this is. Oh, we've even got ourselves a little workstation here. Got my iPad. Got my digital equipment. It's time to make some food and have a cup of tea. You know, one of the beauties of having a rear bar like this with accessories being able to put on the back, I can put a water can and with just a little bit of a modification, I've pressurised it so that I've pretty much got water on tap. And for tonight's food, we're on Radax Nutrition grass-fed Turkish lamb. Absolutely beautiful. And I've started backing up my files. We've got a drone, a camera, two GoPros, and this camera to back up tonight. So that by tomorrow we've got a clean slate. It's always good to start the day with a clean slate. It's the small things in life, eh? But I bought this earlier today. This was my reward for making it here today. A bottle of kombucha, alcohol free. Nice and fizzy. Cheers.
tell you what, there is some exceptional light out there now, but there's just this massive cloud that's just moved down the mountain. It's absolutely throwing down, has got drenched, and I'm pretty sure I could see flashes of lightning. Just at the corner of my eye, I just kept seeing these like pops of what, you know, light, and I was like, shit, I need to get inside. And I don't want to get wet, my camera's absolutely wet. I did take a few photos, I don't know how good they're going to be. I'll put them up, give me some comments, I hope you enjoy them. Well that's it for today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed going on this adventure. I hope you enjoyed the photos, I will put up what I think are the best photos from today's trip. And yeah, please give me some comments. And I will see you next time, bye for now, take care.